sensacional, Ronaldinho faz, Ronaldinho. Sempre que eu lembro da, da, da minha infância é sempre com a bola de futebol, então... A minha, minha vida toda foi com a bola de futebol. Deus me deu um dom e, e eu treinei muito, então... Eu ficava muito tempo com a bola de futebol, então... Devido a todo esse tempo que eu ficava com a bola, eu tinha mais facilidade que os outros. Ronaldinho. Here in Brazil's southernmost city of Porto Alegre is where Ronaldinho's story begins. Born in the relatively poor suburb of Vila Nova in March 1980, Ronaldo de Assis Moreira seemed destined to become a footballer. A talent for football ran in the family. His brother Assis starred for the local club Grêmio in the early 90s until his career was cut short by injury. Assis was an important role model to his younger brother. Ronaldinho was quick to follow in his older brother's footsteps, playing futsal at Grêmio from the age of seven. Even as a youngster, he showed a precocious talent and soon established himself at the club he supported. Having won the under-17 World Cup with Brazil in 1997, Ronaldinho returned to Grêmio ready for first-team action. The teenager was an instant hit with the fans. Despite his skinny frame, he adapted to the tough regional championship well and impressed the supporters with his eye for goal and an extraordinary touch. From 1997 to 2000, Ronaldinho played 145 games for Grêmio and scored 72 goals. It wasn't long before Vandele Luxemburgo called him up to the Brazilian national squad. He took to international football easily enough though, and he looked every inch a Brazil player when he scored in 1999 against Venezuela in the Copa America. There was that moment against Venezuela when he came on as a substitute and scored that now famous goal. When Paris Saint-Germain expressed an interest, Ronaldinho had to go. The fans turned on their hero, though, when they learned he'd signed for PSG on a free transfer, taking advantage of the Bosman law. The love affair between Ronaldinho and his hometown club was over. After a few months in exile at Grêmio, Ronaldinho settled in the French capital surprisingly easily. He was still far from the complete player, but he showed flashes of genius that promised much for the future. Still, though, there was work to be done.
then it came World Cup in 2002 in Japan and South Korea. Without the pressure of being tournament favourites, Brazil were able to express themselves. Ronaldinho played alongside Ronaldo and Rivaldo in an attacking trio, and the youngster blossomed in such celebrated company. It was the quarter-final against England when Ronaldinho truly left his mark on the competition. A brilliant run from Ronaldinho led to Rivaldo's equaliser on the stroke of half-time. Then five minutes into the second half, a stroke of genius from the 22-year-old. Oh, are you We're kidding me? Right. It's ecstasy! They overcame Turkey in the semi-finals, which meant they were to face Germany in the final. Two goals from Ronaldo gave the Brazilians a 2-0 win and a record fifth World Cup. Ronaldinho was voted the tournament's best midfield player. The youngster from Porto Alegre had come a long way. <laughs> 